Let's have a quick look at this tutorial where we actually have a section that extends over to the header and in short we can call this a full screen header section with scroll effects. As you can see this immediate section extends all the way to the header making the background to just stay right behind the header and when you scroll right down you can see that the header is hidden. When you scroll right up the header is displayed again and then you can see the background is hidden again once we arrive at the header section hi there i'm walter and today i'm going to be sharing with you a very quick tutorial on adding a full screen header to your wix studio website if you're excited to join me in this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe and also leave a like in this video now without wasting any more time let's jump right into this tutorial now the very first thing you're going to do is to click on this header and you can see that i've selected the header from this breadcrumb now once you have your header selected head over to this sidebar and expand your sidebar or the inspector you're going to scroll all the way down until you get to the position and over here at the position type you're going to expand this list of options and click on paint now this is what gives you the ability to make the immediate section to expand all the way to the header now this is exactly what you want to do so let's just go ahead and preview this and see if it works now, as you can see this works exactly how we want it to work out now one more thing that you can observe is when you scroll down you'll see that the header actually hides after a few scrolls and it also changes the background of the header after you scroll down but when you scroll back to the top the background is hidden and you can now see your header just overlaying your section background but let's go ahead and take a look at the settings so let's go back to edit sites and then we're going to scroll all the way down until we get to the scroll effect now as you can see this is the scroll effect and this is what happens when we scroll away from the header or towards the breakpoint. From here you can see that we have two options. We have the transition option and we also have the fill color option. Now the transition option is when we scroll down you can see how that fades away. When you scroll back up that fades right back in. And we also have a color or fill color effect as we scroll out the color of the background changes to kind of a gray color and when we scroll right back up you can see that the color has disappeared now this is where you're going to set all that up and the, the transition which is the hidden part you can change it to move which will make the header to move up or down or any direction that you want it to once the user has actually scrolled now let's just go ahead and preview this and see how move actually works so when you scroll all the way down you can see that the header has moved up and when you scroll right back up the header moves back to position so this is what move does and you can play around with the settings and actually work around with what you actually want it to do now you can also make it to scroll down or to scroll to the side depending on what you want to do and you can also decide on the distance that you want it to appear now let's just take a look at this and you're going to see how this actually works out all right so now we're in the preview mode when i scroll all the way down to this section you can see that the header is still visible but at least it's hidden but still visible to the eye so if you still wanted to show a part of your header then that would be a very good setting to have now you can also play around with more of these settings to see what you want and this is the delay or how long you want the move direction or transition to actually appear i like to hide it completely because that will actually make it look uh, more professional and give it more space but depending on the kind of branding that you have you can go ahead and change that now the duration is how long it takes uh, for the item to transition or move away from sight and we have also the animation settings so you can play around with the settings on what you are actually want it to do so i'm not going to be going through all of this and the fill color again is when you scroll down you can see that the background of the header changes so you can go ahead and play with the color and you can choose any color that really works so let's go ahead and use a darker color and let's just preview this and see how that looks so here in the preview as you can see when i scroll down the background changes to black and when you scroll all the way back the background of the header is hidden so you can go ahead and play with this and choose a color that matches your brand and this is going to make the whole thing stand out so this is a very quick tutorial and i hope you really enjoyed adding a full screen header to your wix studio and also adding a scroll effect to your header when your site visitor scrolls away from your header or scrolls towards your header thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the next tutorial